Bonjour, my name is Thomas, and today we are going to be talking about the boudoir photography. <sighs> I don't really talk like that, I just kind of wanted to introduce it that way. Hi, my name is Thomas Crow, and I hear the question, what is boudoir photography, quite a bit. Maybe it's because I'm a boudoir photographer. I guess it makes me glad I'm not a proctologist. Probably pays better. If you've been searching around the internet for what is boudoir photography, chances are you've seen a lot of articles and perhaps videos from boudoir photographers who start out telling you what a boudoir is. But you didn't ask that. So I'm going to start out just the opposite. I'm going to tell you what boudoir photography is, and then I'll explain the rest of it in case you want to go into a deep dive on the subject. Boudoir photography is a form of intimate portraiture for the everyday woman. It generally combines several other genres of photography, such as glamour, uh, portrait, and of course, the artistic. You may notice that I left out the term nude photography, and that's because boudoir does not mean nudity. Many boudoir shoots do end up with either implied nudes or nude images in the portfolio but that is truly up to the comfort level of the client and what type of photo shoot they're looking to have. If you're looking to achieve a pinup style of the 50s and the 60s, you're not going to have nudity. If you want to have something more along the lines of a Playboy shoot, then there would be maybe at least implied nudity and some full figure nudes. Again, that's up to the client and it should be discussed with your photographer in advance. Uh, the main thing is when you go into that photo shoot, we want you to be comfortable because otherwise you're not going to get the images that you deserve. So please talk to your photographer about that in advance and make sure you're both on the same page. If you decide to change your mind during the shoot, that's totally up to you as the client. Your photographer should be skilled enough to follow your lead. A good boudoir photo has some key ingredients. It's almost like you're making a meal. If you leave something out, it doesn't taste right. Well, in this case, it doesn't look right and it doesn't fit in with boudoir. The first ingredient is an intimacy. And this is not an intimacy with the viewer, but an intimacy that the woman has with herself, the acceptance of herself and the confidence in her own skin. Privacy is another key ingredient. Romance sensuality, sexuality, and occasionally a dash of the erotica. Boudoir clients are not professional models. In fact, usually they have limited to no experience in front of the camera. The average boudoir client has maybe some experience getting photographed with their family, with their friends, while they're on vacation. Uh, it might be school pictures or even the social media selfie, but they're definitely not used to being in front of the camera. This means that posing in front of a photographer in intimate apparel, or even less, is generally outside of the boudoir client's comfort zone. That means that it's important that you trust and get to know your boudoir photographer. It's our job to make you feel at ease, to make you feel comfortable, to empower you by letting you see the images on the back of the camera as they're being snapped so that you realize that you can do this. No woman comes into this studio knowing how to pose or create those faces that you see in the photos. That is something that I work with them and I coach them on. And it's the boudoir photographer's job to help the client through all this. To help them realize that when they push past their self-imposed limits, they can achieve some amazing things. Unlike other forms of photography, which are meant to be shared, boudoir photography is generally kept private between couples. Says the photographer who shows a lot of pictures on his website. But it's important to realize that every photo or video that I share has a written release from the client. It's a private form of photography. If the client wants it private, then it will remain private. So if these photos are so private, then why are women sharing them? Well, times have changed. At one time, boudoir photography was taken for the partner. Today, women get boudoir done for themselves. 
It may be to celebrate a milestone birthday. It may be to celebrate weight loss. It may just be to let them see themselves as other people see them and to feel good in their own skin. It could be because they came through a major surgery. Now they want to reinforce that they're still desirable uh, and beautiful women. So they share the photos because maybe they were inspired by seeing someone else's. And by sharing their photos, they may inspire somebody else to take the same journey and to accept themselves for who they are. And while I hope they share their photos, because as an artist, I love for my work to be seen, they're under no obligation. It's completely up to them. And your boudoir photographer should respect your privacy. So where are boudoir photos taken? My clients have had boudoir shoots at my Westminster, Maryland boudoir studio. I've done shoots in hotel rooms. I've gone out to clients' homes. I've shot boudoir shoots outdoors and I even at abandoned locations. The one thing that all of these locations have in common is the fact that they're private environments. And the private environment brings us to the definition of boudoir. The word boudoir is derived from the French verb boudet, which means to sulk or pout. The English used the term for a private room or suite that adjoined the bedchamber of upper class women. These chambers were used for bathing and dressing. The only way a man could enter these private chambers was at personal invitation of the lady. And so boudoirs became known as an area where you would spend romantic time with a partner. If you've ever considered having a boudoir experience, I highly recommend it. I'd love to talk to you, even if I'm not in your area, even if I'm not the photographer you want to go with, I would love to talk with you and see if I can help you on that boudoir journey. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, can you do me a favor? Real quick, just go down and hit that thumbs up thing. Maybe subscribe to the channel or leave a comment about your own experience with boudoir. It would help people find this video. It would maybe encourage another woman to go out and get her own boudoir experience and develop her confidence and self-love.